So you have a BIP38 private key and it is encrypted and you want to decrypt it and you lost your password. Well, you're at the right place. This tutorial is going to help you get your password back. Make sure that you have seen the last tutorial on how to install this brute forcer and make sure that it is working. If you have downloaded and you do not see a notes modules folder in it, that means you did not install it yet. So make sure you go back to the last video and make sure you installed it the right way. So here we have our newly created encrypted BIP38 private keys. We need to configure our brute forces. So go to this config file. In this config file, you need to put the public address. You copy your address here. Paste it, copy the encrypted private key. So this is one of the encrypted private keys. Copy it and paste it in the encrypted private key place. Save this file. Okay, so that was the configuration. Let's go back to our invalid secrets. Delete these. That was for our last brute force. Every time you're doing a new brute force on a new private key, you need to delete everything in the invalid secrets that JSON file or else it will think that it already tried it. Empty this file, save it, valid secrets that JSON and delete this hey and save it again. So make sure those are empty. It's just preparation. And let's go to this file secrets. Configuration is finished and the invalid secret that JSON is empty and the valid secret is empty as well. So how does this work in order for this brute force to be able to brute force the word bit? So we have tokens. Let's talk about tokens. A token is a part of a password that you're sure is right. So you can put those here. You don't have to do it, but you can do this. So here you put parts of the password. I created a couple of arrays. Arrays are just lists of strings and strings are just letters. So list of letters, I have the A's, B's, C's, you see, all these letters of the alphabet. If you put A's, you will get a small A, a big A. I think this makes a lot of sense if you, if you see this stuff. You probably know what's going on here. There's a wildcard for letters, all the small letters of the alphabet, and I created the case years just because you want one case letter. If you use this wildcard, the case years, it will choose uh, one of all these. Uh, and we have the wildcard numbers, which gives us digits zero till nine. And we have other signs, dividers and plus, minus, and stuff like that. I don't know if you need it, but you can find them here. We're gonna generate the password bit in this case. Let's change it to bit. Before we're able to do this, I think we're just gonna play around a little bit and check what the program is actually gonna do. So let's grab this stuff, let's cut it and let's move it down here. The reason why is we're gonna use this later on. Let's just work with this first part. So we're gonna use one exclamation mark. Every exclamation mark stands for a wildcard within the E's in this case. Uh, we're gonna start with the B's, so make it B's. And we have four different B's, you see? Small B, big B, the number eight, and a six. It's just some combinations I created according to lead speak. Open a new command window, so type CMD, command prompt. Now we gotta make sure we go to this folder, copy this address, type here CD space and right click for the address, press enter, and now we are in the same directory. Again, this directory you see, users, your username, desktop, users, username, desktop, you see, so we're in the same folder. And let's run the brute force, and we know it's not gonna be able to brute force this because we, we only gave it the letter B. Let's run it, so type node, and then type start, and you can just write STA and press tab, it will autofill start. Press enter and we will see it run. I'm stupid and the reason why I'm stupid is because I forgot to save this secret file. So <laughs> don't forget to save it and retry it. Okay, it wasn't able to do it. Why? Because we decrypted it with four passwords. And why was it only four passwords? Because we chose the B's, which is this B here, and we said only one of the B's. Let's say we wanna make combinations of the B's, just so we understand a little bit how this brute force is generating passwords. So put an extra exclamation mark here, one extra, and save it. Now let's rerun it. So arrow up, press enter, and as you can see, now we have 16 passwords. Why 16? Because there were four options times four, again. So if we put another exclamation point, we will have another combination of B's. So save it. So we have four times 16 is 64 different passwords. As you see, it tries all kinds of combinations. But as you see, it will try three combinations. So three signs, not two, not one, three. So as you can see, you give it precise orders what to do. So if you don't know exactly what you're supposed to do, then this is gonna take a long time. We have the word bit. 
We know that it's bit, but we don't know how we wrote it. We know that we have one of the Bs. We don't know if it's big B, small B, or it's lead speak. This is the first secret, and we want to paste something after it. So place the following before last. No, place the following after last. So copy this part and paste it here. So what happens now? It says here secret. So the password that's going to try is all the combinations that we can create with one time this B. Then we're saying for every here, for every B that we're going to try, add something at the end. And we need to have the I's. So put I's here for bit, B, I. And we're going to say here, this secret word that we see here actually means this word over here. We're going to try this B plus exclamation, which means the I's in this situation here. So it's going to try the B's first, one B. After the B, it's going to paste one of this list of I's. So let's save this and let's check if it's working. So we run it, 16 passwords. Ah, you see, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now we know that this was with the B, this is with B and I, and we wanna put something after the B and I. So let's copy this line again, this group, and make sure that it's before return secrets, but after the last one. Now we wanna put the T here, T's, B, I, T, bit. So what's gonna happen now? It's gonna try one of the B's, and after the B, so this is the B's plus one of the I's. And now we're gonna use that B plus I's and put a T behind it. So B I T. I think that this will generate 64 different passwords and eventually give us the word bit. And it will brute force it. I'm quite sure, but I don't know how long it will take. 124 passwords to try. So you see, I'm brute forcing it. I know it's not fast, but it's way faster than doing this by hand. Oh! Got him! Okay, so we did brute force it now. So let us check in the files. And let's go to the valid secrets and we see the word bit. We got it! So I hope you guys will be able to do this too. And the invalid secrets is a list of everything that it tried. You see? So these are all tried. If you would retry it, it will automatically skip all these because it already knows that these aren't the right ones. I hope you guys did learn something new today and I hope you guys will get your private keys back. And if this tutorial did help you out, please let me know it by giving it a big thumbs up, a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys for being here. See you guys next time. Bye. Let's make it a little bit harder. Let's use that other encrypted private key. This password is a little bit different. It's also bit, but it also has the word coin and 38. We have two tokens up here. We have the word bit and we have the number 38. As you can see here, it's trying 38 at the beginning, but we already know that it's bit at the beginning and we know that it's 38 at the end. What we can do is use the word tokens with the brackets and then a number. And the number indicates which one of the array it is. The array means the list of letters, or in this case, the list of tokens. And an array always starts with a zero. With a little bit of work, we have our first word bit, our token zero here. After the token zero, it puts a C, as you see here, bit plus a C. After it places a O, and then an I, and then an N, and after the word Bitcoin, it's gonna place 38, uh, which is a token, the second token. 